Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'll show you how to create a prototype that passes data from one page to another page. And we'll do this using variables. Now, a lot of users have enjoyed videos where we start completely from scratch, build up the design, and then add interactions. So in this first video, we're gonna start by building the two pages, a gallery page which, with a bunch of article components, and then a details page that is a full details article. Then in the second video, we'll add those interactions. So let's get started. I'm first gonna set up both of my pages. So I'm gonna go in my page overview. I already have this page one. I'll just double click on the name and title this gallery. And then I'm gonna click on this new page here to create my second page. And then we'll click on the tab up here to name this details. And I'm gonna start in my gallery page and start creating a component that we can duplicate a bunch of times to put on my page. I like to start by adding each of the parts of the component and then grouping it together. So I'm gonna do that all on the canvas. First, let's start with an image. I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut I and then drag to create my image size. Then I'm gonna go into my layout panel and change the width and height to both be 80 and then grab a little corner radius in here. If I wanna set an initial image, which I will obviously replace in all the instances, I can do that just by double clicking on this, selecting an image. Next, we need to add our eyebrow text and our title. Let's start with that title. So I'm just gonna use the keyboard shortcut T here and when I click, it's gonna add this text element for me. Now I don't wanna to do too much customizing here because this actually looks pretty good, but I'm just gonna change the weight to be medium and I'm gonna change this to say title. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this, clicking on it and doing Command D to duplicate that element. For this one, it's gonna be the eyebrow text. So first I'm gonna change it to say eyebrow. I'm gonna group this in another stack because I want it to have a background around it. So taking this, doing command G, and that is going to add a stack around it. I could also add a stack to my canvas, drag the text helm inside and style it from there. Both of them work. All that matters is that we have a stack with this text element inside it. So we're gonna style both of these. First, I'm gonna click in this text and let's style the text element. I want this to be a bit smaller, maybe. 11, I'm gonna change so it's all title caps, and I'm also gonna change its color to be this yellow that I've created. Then I can select my full stack. This is where I can add a little bit of padding. Maybe a little corner radius here, and then I'm gonna change the background color of this to be this light yellow. Make it even more of a pill here. Great, so now I'm gonna drag this up here and in play, everything is done structurally, but when I group things from the canvas, play knows that they're placed on top of one another. So when I group these together using again, command G, it knows we're gonna group them in a vertical stack. I could obviously change this to be a horizontal stack and they'd be next to one another, but I want it to be a vertical stack here. Then I am going to set the width of this to be fill. It's gonna fill any unused space in its, um, in its parent. So, I do this now, it's gonna to fill to be the same size as my device. Now I wanna create a horizontal stack with the image and this stack here. So we'll select both of those, Command G to group them. And you can see now this is a horizontal stack. I wanted to set this, the width to fill, but it already did that for me. So the width of this whole thing is fill. So now we can style this whole stack. I'm gonna change the background color to be white. I'm gonna use my system color white for that. And then we can change the gap spacing between eight honestly looks pretty good. And then I can add some padding as well. So I'm gonna do maybe, maybe eight points of padding. You can also add some corner radius here. So this is my card component. I always like to label my layers. I know it's a bit controversial, but I can go to my layers panel here and just rename things. So I'm gonna title this card, then the image can just be called image. This stack is the content, so I like to call this content. Then this one is gonna be the eyebrow. This text element is the eyebrow text. If you watch enough of these videos, you can see that I absolutely cannot spell or type on the first time. And then this one will be a title. So now that we've gotten all the naming out of the way, let's turn this whole card into a component. You'll do that by selecting the full card. Make sure you have the full card selected and then press this cube icon in this context bar here or use the keyboard shortcut Command K. And now it is a component. You can now find it in your components tab down here and you can open it in the main component editor. 
but we don't need to do those things right now. We just need to make some copies of this so we can add it to our page. So I'm gonna zoom out. And before I add this to my page, I'm gonna add a background color to the page. Let's do that yellow copy. Great. Then I can just drag this card component onto the page. You can see when I dragged that on, it actually created two of these components. Main components, which is what this one is, cannot be on the prototype or in the prototype on the page. Only instances can be on the page. So we have created an instance of this component. And then I can copy or duplicate using command D this component a bunch of times on my page. Now we want to finish styling this page so it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to add a little bit of padding here. Then I'm going to add some gap spacing in between these. And that looks pretty good. Honestly, there's not too much contrast between the yellow and the white. So I'm gonna go back to my card component, the main component here, and I'm gonna add a bit of a shadow. And we can just click on this to adjust. That's pretty subtle. Great. So now what we have is we have our main component created and we have four instances on our page. We can change the data inside each of these instances. So for this first one, I can select from inside here, I can autofill this with a long headline or maybe a short headline here. I'm gonna do that for each of these. You could also go in and write your own content if you want to, but I'm not feeling particularly creative at the moment. So I'm gonna use our autofill here. Always helpful when you're making quick prototypes or just learning how to use the tool. We like to make it easy for you. You can also do the same thing with the eyebrow copy. So you could change this. Um, usually this is used for like the type. So working as a team is probably work related. Gintley mentally fit is wellness. How I improved. That can also be wellness. How's that? And better times ahead. Motivation. Cool. So now we have our eyebrow text set. We have our text text set. Now for these images, I could go in, double click on each of them, select the image. I can upload my own images. So you can customize this however you'd like. Again, I'm going for easiest here, so I'm gonna right click on my whole thing. I'm gonna autofill this using Unsplash and Nature is an easy one. So now it's gonna fill in all of the images in my selection based on that keyword I searched in my Unsplash autofill. And you can see now we have all these beautiful flower photos. So this page is now good to go. If you wanted to add a title, you could do that at the top, finish customizing it all you want. But for this video, it's good. Now we can move over to our details page. Now I'm gonna take this card and I'm just gonna bring it with me. I'm gonna copy it and bring it over. You could also grab it from this um, library here. Just drag the card and now it's in here. I'm only doing this because I need to use the same content on this page. So this is a details page. I'm gonna have an image at the top and then the title, the eyebrow text, and then the article body. So let's first start by adding an image. I'm gonna do that on my page this time. I feel like it's easier. Just gonna use the keyboard shortcut I, and now my image is on the page. You can change this height however I'd like. Maybe go into this panel over here. Let's call it 340. And then we can select maybe the same photo for now. Again, it doesn't matter what photo you choose here because it's going to be loaded in for using the image data from that gallery page based on whichever one of the cards you select. But for now, this one works. I'm also on my full page here. I am going to remove the top safe area. So this image is flush with the top of the screen and it doesn't save room for all of this um, safe area at the top that Apple provides. Now underneath this, we need all of our content. So I'm going to create a stack in my canvas over here. Again, this is the other way you can do it. Instead of group adding all the individual parts and then grouping them together, you can also create a stack on your canvas and then add things into it. So I have my stack created here. In here, we need that eyebrow tag, then we need a text element for the title, and then we need a text element for the body. So I'm actually gonna just cheat here a little bit, grab this eyebrow from here, and then paste it in here so I don't have to recreate anything. Under the eyebrow, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut T to add a text element, and then I can style this we'll have it be a little big so i can change using the size here or i could go into my system styles and we can make this large title or something like that then i want another text element so i'll use the keyboard shortcut t again under here can also customize this however i'd like 
maybe I want it to be a slightly lower opacity version of this color so it kind of shows as gray. And then I can do the same thing here with the, um, the autofill content. So I can change this to be multi-paragraph so it just makes the full page scrollable. Now that I have all the content inside here, I need to style my stack. So I'm going to add a little bit of padding. I think I added eight or 12 points of padding in my other page. Let's just check that. I like to keep things consistent. So it looks like I added 12 points of padding and I'm using one of my spacing styles, which you can create over here in the styles panel. So I just wanna go back and make sure that I have 12 points of padding here, which I do. And we'll also add a little bit of gap spacing. You can do 12 there as well. Now I don't need a background color here. So I'm gonna remove the background color, just set it to clear. It's now going to just show whatever is behind it. And I'm also gonna set the width of this to be fill. So that means it's gonna fill the entire space on my page. So now I have this stack. I'm gonna set its height to be auto and now it's gonna hug the content. So it's gonna be much bigger than the page here. And then I'm gonna take my stack and I'm gonna drag it onto my page. From here, you know, we just did it in the gallery page. Let's go into our layers panel and let's do some renaming. So this image, just gonna name this image again. This stack, we are gonna name content. I'm gonna use the carrot to open this. This can still be eyebrow, good to go. This is gonna be the title and this is gonna be the body copy. Now, just a quick note here, we're not actually gonna change the body copy in this video tutorial. Maybe I'll add something at the end, um, but it's all gonna stay the same in this example. You can use the same process we use for the image, the eyebrow, and the title to add in different body copy for each one of these cards. So now our design is done, both for our details page here and also our gallery page here. Of course, this is just how I chose to design it, but you could design it however you'd like. Once you finish with your design, come over and meet me in the next video where we'll talk about adding interactions to pass data between the two pages. Thanks so much for watching this first video.